Do you know what this is? A meningioma is the most common primary brain tumor overall and is usually benign. These tumors arise from the arachnoid cap cells and they love to stick to the dura. On imaging, they're well circumscribed and they have like this dural tail sign. Microscopically, they have little world patterns and somoma bodies. I like to think of meningioma somoma, meningioma somoma to remember that. Calcified structures that look like little grains of sand. Patients often present with seizures, focal, neurological defects, or signs, especially because the tumor is going to press on the cortex. And the tumors can grow faster in women, especially during pregnancy, thanks to the progesterone receptors. So let's check this out. we got a 60-year-old man presenting with a progressive personality change, worsening memory, and also new seizures. Biopsy reveals cells in whorls with calcified concentric structures. What's the most likely? Diagnosis, meningioma. Slowly progressing frontal lobe mass, behavioral changes, seizures, with a dural tail and whorls, some of the bodies that's gonna be meningioma. Glioblastoma is your butterfly lesion, highly malignant. You're gonna see uh, pseudopalisating cells. Oligodendrioma is gonna be your fried cells. They look like little fried eggs, little little circle with a little thing in the middle. Pylocystic astronoma is gonna occur in your children and it's gonna have the Rosenthal fibers. If you guys have seen the Onion video, I think it's like Peter Rosenthal talking about his favorite boys from like the Hunger Games or something. The Rosenthal fibers because it occurs in children in the pylocystic astrocytoma. So the Rosenthal fi fibers for uh, pylo is super important to remember. Ependymoma is the fourth ventricle. Shows your perivascular pseudorosettes. Ependymoma, pseudorosettes. So glio, butterfly, pseudopalisating. Oligodendroglioma is going to be your fried eggs. Pylo, Rosenthal, and ependymoma is going to be fourth ventricle pseudorosettes. So meningioma, arachnoid world pattern, extra axial dural attachments, slow growing, often incidental in seizures and focal deficits. It can also express estrogen and progesterone receptors. Hopefully this is helpful. If it was, like and subscribe.